What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Diego Elise Iceborne and Legacy. Some of you guys, if you missed the news, might be wondering, Iceborne and Legacy? That can't be good. But today there was a new balance patch with a bunch of different buffs and nerfs to certain cards in the meta, including this card right here, Iceborne and Legacy, which got changed from slow to burst speed, which just makes it so much stronger from where it was before. In the past, it was like a pretty unplayable card. You couldn't really fit it into any deck. And going to burst speed and being able to use it reactively um, on open attacks, on things of that nature, just turned it into like, I think, one of the strongest cards in the game right now. So we're going to try to take advantage of it here, using it on spiders mainly. So we have Elise, Bile Feast, two copies of Brood Awakening, a one of of Crawling Sensation, and three hapless aristocrats as different ways to generate spiders and we can go very wide very fast with all of these different spiders and when you have the iceborne legacy in play to make them all three threes that is extremely strong with as well as having two copies of pack mentality to close out the game and turn those three three stat lines into five five overwhelms which is just like very hard for your opponents react to if they can't kill it before the Iceborne Legacy goes off because once at that point, it's just very strong. We also run Viego and Hydrovine, which are cards that just synergize with the pack mentality really well because Viego and Hydrovine creating encroaching mists that just grow throughout um, every time you make them, as well as Viego just gaining stats and the 7 6 body of the Hydrovine already being very strong, with as well as having Fearsome, so only select units can block it and forces the blocks in specific ways. The pack mentality, again, just a very strong closer for this deck. And if you're not finding the pack, pack mentality or they were able to have answers such as like freezes to stop the attack, we run two copies of Atrocity, which hits ton, a ton of different units and a ton of different targets that can potentially close out the game for you. And you could even use it on smaller units in certain instances if you're able to get enough chip damage in the early game to close it out. We run three, two copies of Troll Chant as our protection spells. And two copies of three sisters which three sisters obviously a very versatile card but one of the options that we have here is fury of the north that which can gain some stats on some units to either push some damage or potentially keep it out of range of certain stuff we have flash freeze as well another good versatile card that can be used offensively or defensively and in tomb which could use be used to stop certain effects or stop a unit that um from being on the board going into like an open attack for example is like another good way to use this card we also run um three copies of glimpse as our main way to draw cards in the deck um glimpse has a ton of different targets that you don't mind hitting such as the spiderlings and the encroaching mist and then a one of blighted ravine obviously hits a lot of our spiders in those types of certain situations but when you have like viego and the bigger units on the board like the ephemerals um it doesn't really matter if they take two damage at those points and having a one of blighted ravine the clear board states for open attacks or an early game if we're like not really establishing much of a board presence and they're going full wide with the swarm having a one of blighted ravine can definitely just swing games in your favor as well as it could be used as burn really like two over the top damage that is very hard to stop unless they have like landmark removal. we also run two copies of vengeance which is another card that did get buffed in this latest balance patch going from seven to six mana this makes it like such a strong uh option in our toolkit because like we don't have to hold up as much mana for it now and six mana removing a unit if we didn't learn already from mini morph is pretty good that's kind of the main idea with this deck again i used it to hit masters today so i gotta say it feels pretty strong and in my session today i had a pretty good climb with it in the early part of masters so one deck that i'm going to be looking to play a bit more in the future see how it lines up but uh we're back to making videos with the new balance patch i'm going to be featuring a lot of the different decks that people are trying out i think tomorrow i'm going to be featuring poros poros has slowly become like one piece at a time one it is finally at the point where i think it's one of the strongest decks in the game so i'm going to be featuring that tomorrow so hopefully you guys look out for that guys haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you guys hit the subscribe button hit the like button good to be back and you know there's going to be a lot more video and a lot more content to be had in the new year so hopefully you guys 
enjoy this one and if you guys have any suggestions on stuff you want to see in the future let me know but with that we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the gameplay peace out everybody okay infinite poros continues Oh, it could be. He plays a Poro early, and we can maybe pick it off before What's that noise? he has buffs to it, but he probably Tomorrow never does that. I think we're actually fine with this just dying. Plus, it's to get damage, anyways. I think those people will definitely overthink, I think, the aristocrat. Now, where did that one run off to? I've never known beauty like yours. You have no idea. You have to get me out of here. All for the best, my pet. You've gone and spoke them. The guy low-key, like... Just killing this, keeping the spider alive. Then I can falling sensation just get like you literally dare. even more. Then we also have brood awakening, which I don't know if I just use it for the buff or like what. It's definitely a pretty sweet card to have. Smooth as silk. And he had enough, okay. I think he just didn't find like the Poro stuff he was looking for and all our fearsomes is about to do a lot of damage, especially with Iceborne Legacy as the top deck. That was nice. Okay, I gotta check. You got the skins, I don't even know what champs these are. Trundle Elise, okay, this is gonna be hard control. I think I'll keep Elise and we wanna find like Viego and the bigger top deck. Dink. They are dank. Top deck engines. Mr. the cat can drop. Elise can drop. Let's we'll put on whatever pressure we can. I'd follow you anywhere. Of course you would. I'm waiting to see how I feel about this board or something. I don't consider. We talked with all here because this is always generated for something to block, so we just get extra damage. You dare! Please, I have connections! That's pretty cool. <laughs> Can't say it wasn't this worth skin's it. weird though. I can't even like see the Elise. Not my favorite. Not gonna lie. Falling sensation? Do you have more of those? More of those, and we might have a problem. Might have to play a uh, lighted review. Because of that, swinging all here. Ooh, some big chonkers. Obviously, you can Vile Feast. And because of that, I think I don't <laughs> use the glimpse, but it could have been good. These are trolls. He goes Trundle. I think I'm just going to go Camavorin. You have to believe buff the Diego to a point where it can kill this. Might as well drop this. Diego down, have the Hydra Vine. Vengeance, we could glimpse opportunity. 
I could have maybe even tried to glimpse another unit if I like felt risky about it. Maybe on the 3-3 literally would have been better. I would have got the buff on these. I'll knock them dead. Fine, could have another vengeance. That I say glimpse again. <laughs> I think still just more Hydra Vines and just leave Viego back for a minute. Brood, sure. I mean, they're huge, actually. Uh, this attack does nothing, but... Oh, oh. Whoa, he lets the damage go through, overthinks it on the Trundle. I mean, he has regen and I have one mana. Not sure about that, but I'll take free damage. <laughs> There's the pillar. This can get dragged. I can get... Whoa, first time seeing this animation. All right. <laughs> get Viego down, I think, as a pretty good option to just, like, see some deaths happen. Even do this goes down to three. See how he reacts to it, and then we have troll chant to protect it. Very funny, but I, I don't think I mind. Bjerg is still pulling like either another Hydra Vine or Viego. A glimpse mana. And we only took two damage there. I could even go for Brood. Uh, I think I just. Go. It was right on my tail. Another Viego. I just play this, have it live.
I'm literally just gonna buff it again. <laughs> Make it as difficult as possible for him to deal with this. Get the Viego down. Another brood, you say? Allow it. Surrender to me. Get this one, the one that's created by the Hydra Vine. It's absolutely insane. Atrocity has the potential to kill now. I will find her. Great. I think we just let him go through. Deal eight. Now if he makes a play to kill the Hydra Vine, Atro's just hit. Play this for fun, but I'm pretty sure it's still it. Game boys, easy game. That was really funny. We literally went through all the Hydra Vines, all the Viegas. That can't can't stop that. Early game. Uh, hoping for Iceborne Legacy, I think, with this. Because we need a way to convert these little chip damage units into actual pressure. Back mentality is kind of a way to do that. I wanted him to tap mana, but he's gonna bank for his spells. Whenever he goes for the spells, I think the uh, glimpse will be in order. Here's oh, no iceborne. Decent for us. here in case we hit Iceborne, but doesn't do too much. Could have been in the least level. In the shadows. Still can be. Weird. So weird that he put the only one that dies there. Nest hatch. Okay, any type of buff I'm for sure out of this. Smooth as silk. I think we just go for Brood into Pack. And maybe we kill him some. Hopefully he doesn't have the burn to kill us. He played this really strange, but... He stops one spider. <laughs> Fantastic. And we got him. That was all on him, I think. If he just switched it around. I guess we drew a vile piece anyway, so we did have a way to kill if he didn't have a buff, but. Alright, pack mentality carried. The easiest full mole of my life. We're up against a mono trundle deck. Not mono, but you get. Only champ is trundle. At least next round, Diego. I mean, we could turn this draw into our favor for sure. Awakening could be sweet. 
love an Iceborne Legacy. Nice, because we have a very strong Spider's Hand. Gonna see if we draw into one. Pacmentality is not Welcome bad. to the tipsy hour. We go for the draw here. If he tries to like stop it with Vile, we have a second one. You dare. That goes through, which is with me. Let's take this outside. Problem is that damage has to confirm. I mean, there's a lot of easy responses he could have to this. Go ahead. Play with your food. The upside's there. Passes. I'll just take my level to leech and we'll fill up the ego, right? My true beauty is beneath I think the he was just gonna wail. Could have done anyways. Up to ravine. I'm gonna let the whole world Diego see this. Also, just vile this but with the amount of mana he has. I don't know. I'm feeling weird about it. I think this is just fine. Get a ton there for another ravine. I think I actually play a hapless because this will die and I think the Viego gets buffed right away. Oh, we have no way here, so. Take the draw. And if we find a Bjerg or something, it could just confirm into another one. Poor aristocrat. <laughs> Taking the heat though. King of trolls coming through. Got Trundle, we have an ephemeral ready to block away. I think I want to play a hapless just because one, it doesn't die. Like, obviously that. But if it gets killed, it'll just turn into the spiderling, and this can always drag killer. Seems pretty powerful. We still have the seven mana for the pack mentality. He's holding up 11 mana, though, is the problem. You got a problem? Yeah, this dies. Eh, blown up a little bit here. Oh, true. The Hydro Bite's not even dead, actually. I don't know why I'm like acting like it did.
depending on how many eight cost cards he has. Gold chant could be good to protect him. This is gonna be fun. Only two. I think this is fine, and we just keep the mana up. We have the three sisters, right? The trolls are going to like war. Trundle, more pillars. Great. Vengeance a little difficult to respond to. Oh, if we do this, we tap a low. It's a shame we miss out on one spider, but... This can get us in range with Ravine if he randomly doesn't have a way to stop all this. Legacy's huge. Currently killing, and then we have like two burn almost. He only has like a singular freeze. Oh, he's still dead. Alright. Good game. That Iceborne Legacy top deck was exactly what we needed to win there. And I'm very glad we developed the extra spider because that just turned into a lot more damage.